Um, the new cyberpunk anime is good. I liked it. There is like one character that is a little young uh, looking, which I thought was fucking strange, obviously. Um, I don't like that shit, but because I love the cyberpunk universe so much that um, overall it's like it's worth it. Like overall, I yeah, classic anime shit. Studio defended keeping her in. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, she's she's not like full lolly, but she does look like she's young. They made a conscious decision to have a lolly character. Yeah, it's weird. Which I Rebecca is definitely not a kid. I mean, it's it's no no. There are there are moments where she like literally does look like a fucking kid. And I thought it was weird. Don't mention the Becca Discord. Like, at first I thought, at first I thought she was just like short. I don't even see her as a lolly. She just seems like a short adult. Yeah, at, at first I thought she was short, but then there are certain moments. It's very weird. Because, no, she is sexualized. To be fair, as long as it's not sexualized, no, she's definitely sexualized. Hold on. Here, I'll show you. So, in a weird way, on some of the clips, in some of the clips, she's like, uh, she's drawn like a child. And in other clips, she's drawn like a, like a short adult. Like here. Choo -choo. Huh? Let's see, no spoilers, obviously, but like here, she looks like a kid. Cut the shit, please. No. Thinking. Wait, what the fuck is this? Is this actually? I haven't seen this yet. Maybe that might be that might be a spoiler. Um. Damn studios, kill a kill. Yeah, that makes sense. I kill a kill is really sad because like I love the artwork. Okay, I fucking love the artwork, the art style on Kill la Kill, but I can't watch it because it's like, it's a unique concept overall, and the art is like, the art style is so fucking sick, but they're kids, and it's very weird. I've talked about this before. Um, It's like fan service, but fan service for like children, you know what I mean? They're like in high school. Don't say it's a drawing. No, it's still kind of weird, dude. It's still weird. And I was one of the people. So um basically for me, I can't like I don't like that. I can't hang with sexualizing minors. There's just so much anime. Yeah, no, literally. It is. Okay, to be fair, it's literally written for high schoolers. Bro, the shit that they're doing in that uh in that is is crazy. Come on, kill the kill is like kinda indefensible almost where it's not even almost. It's like the entire show is about like getting naked. And the more naked you get, the more revealing your clothing is, the more powerful you are. What the fuck do you mean? There's an entire group of teachers that are just nude. Like there's an entire sect of people that are just fucking nude, dude. But anyway, the point I was going to make is like cyberpunk... You can kind of overlook that, but it is weird that, um, it is weird that they like had to make a fucking lolly character. And it's just like very anime. I, I don't know how to describe it. Show overall is great because cyberpunk as lore is so good. Like the cyberpunk universe is so fucking good. Uh, the cyberpunk universe is so awesome that like putting any kind of like complex story in that especially one that is like watchable even remotely watchable is going to be awesome so the show is actually pretty decent um however having said that uh having said that yes the there is a fucking lolly there is like a like a lolly character which i thought was like maybe a like a short adult but i mean there are certainly instances because like each episode is like drawn. The art style is so unique that like some episodes, the characters literally just like look a little bit different than they actually are. And, um, 
but yeah, no, they're definitely. I was one of the people on the creative uh, team to actually vote Rebecca out of the. So do you have a problem watching Made in the Abyss because they're kids? Um, I don't know what Made in the Abyss is. I don't think I've ever watched that. <sighs> Did you know Cyberpunk 2077 is based off a board game? Yeah, of course. The original cast during oh. pre-production. Because what happened was that CD Projekt Red first got the character design for Rebecca, and they were like, she's a... Why did that sound so accusatory? Yeah, I don't know why. Like, I, you guys have heard me talk about Lolly and shit many times over. Uh, I am not a fan. I am not fond of it. I think it's bad. I think it's gross. Um, so I don't know why you would think that, like, I'd be a, a, a Lolly defender. You know what I mean? The only thing I defend is having you avoid the top of the... Actually, it's a phoebophilia. Yeah, no, I'm not like that at all. Lolly is uh, is is like a the depiction of a uh, childlike figure in a oftentimes like sometimes in a sexualized setting. Uh, you'll often hear people who are fans of Lolly say, "Oh, well, that's actually a three thousand year old dragon," but like the fucking character is drawn specifically to look like a child, and it's really weird. I think it's really fucking weird. I think it's gross. It's weird. I think it's a PDF file moment a little bit. Um. They're like written as adults, but in kids' bodies is bad. And then the other side of anime, there's two different sides to anime. Either you have a child in a child's body who is specifically drawn to look like a fucking cute little child doing adult shit, sometimes even like sexual stuff, or you have a very clear fucking adult and they're like, this adult is actually 16. This adult is actually 17, which... Neither of which, in my opinion, makes fucking sense. I think it's weird as hell. Why? Why did you do that? I mean, I get it because it's a shonen. It's supposed to be like, you know, uh, 12 to 16 year olds is like the main content, right? But if you're going to put them in like, you know, anything beyond like a, like a platonic story or a love story, like you don't have to make them fucking 14, 15, 16. Just say that they're 18. Like... Jojo is the funniest example of this. Don't they say Jotaro is like 15? Like over and over again on the show? And this motherfucker looks like a 35-year-old adult. Like you chose to actively draw someone like a fucking full-blown, full-fledged adult, okay? But then you're also saying that, you know, this person is like 14, 15. He's built like me, motherfucker. What the hell? But like in in a lot of instances, like like Baki, I think uh, I think Baki's supposed to be fourteen, fifteen. Like you don't even think about it, right? Because it's like you know whatever. It's not like the main thing. Like I can overlook it in certain instances, even though I do think it's fucking weird. Like JoJo is another example where it's just like they say they say the character is like fifteen. They bring it up like one time, but you're like, what the fuck? That's so stupid. Like that's such an incredibly fucking stupid moment. Baki isn't out here flirting though. What do you mean? Baki literally fucks uh in in uh Baki literally fucks his girlfriend. There's like a whole his dad watches. As his dad watches. What the fuck? Yeah, no, sex is definitely a part of it. Baki is a power up from fucking. Yeah. His dad like spies in on him. Anyway, so, God, I know so much about anime. But yeah, no, it is weird. The, the, the Becca character, or Rebecca, is that her name is? Lowly, like, it is a weird character. Like, existence. you could have just literally avoided this by drawing them as, like, a normal adult. Night City, it doesn't fit the Cyberpunk 2077 aesthetic. Uh, but Trigger was like, no, the Loli must stay. <laughs> I was one of the people on the creative uh, team to actually vote Rebecca out of the original cast during pre-production. Because what happened was that CD Projekt Red first got the character design for Rebecca, and they were like, she's a lowly. Lowlies don't exist in Night City. It doesn't fit the Cyberpunk 2077 aesthetic. Uh, but Trigger was like, no, the lowly must stay. <laughs> I was one of the people. That's, uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense that they did that. They were like, they were riding for the fucking lolly, which is weird as fuck, man. What the fuck? Why are you like this?
Cyberpunk is definitely not shonen. It's more like a sign-in, so it's weird that Rebecca is in it at all. Yes, no, I wasn't talking about Cyberpunk being shonen. Well, there is shonen components to it. There is shonen components to Cyberpunk, but it, it is way too fucking violent for it to be a shonen. Because the main character, David, is still, uh, he is still uh, in high school. Like, he's just great. He's, he quits high school. What the fuck is a shonen? Shonen is like uh, the, the most bait. Naruto is a shonen. Definitely wish I could wave my magic wand and remove fan service. Okay, dude, first of all, fuck no. Okay? No, there's great fan service, which is tastefully done. Like whenever they're fucking diving, okay? And, and they got titties out. That part is great, okay? Fan service depends on which fandom you're serving. If you're serving the fucking lolly fandom, then yeah, it's not good. Fuck you. Why are you mad at me for this? Shonens are stories about teenagers going through various trials to become powerful protagonists in the end. Yes, exactly. Yeah, when your friend watches sus anime, this is this is a funny thing. Good, my boy. Hey, what's up? What anime is you watching? Oh, it's just this anime called The Time I, as a 40-year-old, fell in love with a 12-year-old. Pretty good. Shoto mate. Nani? No, no, it's it's not it's not like that. Like like he's a forty year old, but he traveled back in time. So now he's back in his twelve year old body. So it, it it's okay now. <laughs> who are you? Who are you calling? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> can you not judge me? Like it's not even that's not why I'm watching the show. Like I'm not I'm watching the show for the action. Right. I'm watching. Right. I mean, it's a it's an isekai, so they're they're in a. I literally could not fucking watch Kill a Kill for this reason, by the way. Like straight up, that doesn't make me like more ethical than anybody else. You know, you do you if you want, but like, it upset me to a degree where I was like, God damn it! Like, cause the art style is fucking sick. It's actually a unique setting. Like the drawing is fucking dude. They're so good. At Studio Trigger is so weird, but also so fucking good at, at uh, uh, you know, animating combat sequences. Like, it's just great. Which sucks. Watching anime in general is like kind of sus. Wait, what? Why? There's so many shows like that on Netflix. I had to turn off because of pedophilia vibes. Kill a kill is literally a leftist allegory law. I mean, dude, I, I understand that, but it doesn't matter because like I'm telling you why I couldn't watch it. It was just weird. But I couldn't get over like I'm good at tuning shit out and overlooking certain parts. If I like the anime, if there's components of it that is like really good. Kill a kill, I could not overlook the fact that like the main character was like fucking underage. Okay, and then there was another girl. There was another girl that's like friends with the fucking main character that was even more underage looking. Like they made them so underage. Like Hunter Hunter is a great example, right? There's literally a pedophile as a villain in Hunter Hunter. Like Gon is is straight up a, a fucking child. Okay. But there's also like a villainous pedophile in Hunter Hunter. I had to quit seven daily sins because of that shit. Dude, you know what? Dude, you know what that it's all about when there's lolly trending on Twitter this morning. I open it and see that shit made me want to burn my laptop. People post this shit. They were seeing base Japanese animators defending lolly. Yeah, it's so fucking weird. You have really ass takes on anime. Please stop talking about it. The OGs at Trigger were also key artists for Neon Genesis Evangelion. I feel like that anime scrambles everyone's brains. I had people jump down my throat because I said I felt weird watching more sexual scenes of first kill on Netflix. Like, it's normal for me as an adult to not want to watch teenagers do that. I don't know. It was just weird. It, it was just weird to me. Can I say it was weird? Like, am I not allowed to say that? Why are you guys getting mad at me for that? I 
I know that this is like a uh, killer kill is amazing. If you avoided watching anime for the sus weird shit, you wouldn't be watching any anime. No, I, I agree. I, I think so too, which is why I'm saying like with cyberpunk. Yeah. The, the character Becca being like drawn in some fucking sequences, like a kid and in other sequences, like a short adult is odd. Okay. But it's not like the main thing. So you can just like not see it. Right. Like, you don't have... It's not constantly, like, fucking in your face. But when it's, like, kill a kill, the, 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 a big component is, like, teachers uh, and students interacting and shit like that. You know what I mean? <sighs> a different world. So, you know, we don't even know what the age of consent is in that world, right? Like, that, that matters, right? <laughs> You, hey, you making me seem like I'm weird, like I'm a, like I'm sick in the head, bro. It, it's, it's not like that. So when yeah, a man the chat wasn't here when I was playing. A chat wasn't here when I was playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it shows because like one of the things that I was so pissed off about is like Nintendo's like Zelda is 17, she's 17. Can we just can we mention numerous times that Zelda is 17? It's like okay, bro, we get it. She's 17. Why do you keep saying she's 17? Like, we got it, man. We fucking got it, man. A teenager. You making me sound like EDP. You making me, you making me feel like EDP right now. And that's not, that's like, you, you, bro, who are you calling? Like, what? Who are you? Okay, wait, wait, wait. maybe I need oh, to Jesus explain Christ. it better. Because you, you making me feel like I'm weird or something or like sick in the head, but I'm, I'm not. Okay, it's, it's, I'm not sick in the head anyway. So look, imagine this. Imagine two 12-year-olds kissing, right? And then this 47-year-old, he astral projects his mind <laughs> Man, it's into so the funny. body of the, 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 one of the 12-year-olds. <laughs> Man, you, man, you making me look like I'm a sicko. Like, I need to, <laughs> like, bro, who are you calling? Power I know that the guy, okay, he's 164 years old. Okay, we got that. That's, we got that covered, right? I'm gonna need you to stop trying to explain this. The girl this. No. is negative 12. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal because, like, she was 12 and then she went backwards. This isn't helping. For 24 years, so now she's negative. It, Listen, I think you're better off if you just don't talk anymore. Why are you, why are you looking at me like that, okay? You telling me that there's something wrong with a with an 86-year-old man grabbing the ass of a six-year-old. What the fuck am I saying? You know what, um, it, how, how far away is the police station? It's, it's walking distance. Let's go right now. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's just go. Let's... <laughs> Oh, that's funny, bro. Come on. That's good. That's good shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I don't know what I was thinking. Let's let's just walk. Let's go. I need to be in jail forever. <laughs>